The purpose of this video is to describe how to use ABB's Pump Save Energy Saving Calculator. And as you can see, this is based on an Excel spreadsheet. The white cells are cells that you put your input in, and the yellow shaded cells are the results that uh, the program calculates. So after selecting the appropriate language and then the measurement units, either metric or U.S., I've selected U.S., we need to enter information that would be pertinent to your application. Here we have 62, which is the correct number for the density of water. This static head here is the difference between the suction elevation and the discharge elevation of any given pump, which we've nominally entered in as one foot. I've put in 500 gallons per minute here as my flow rate. Of course, I could put anything I want in, 750 gallons put that in. This uh, efficiency from the pump curve we're saying is 88 and we're saying that the nominal head to produce 750 gallons per minute from this pump curve would be 33 feet of head. <clears throat> or to convert that to PSI we take 33 times 0.433. The maximum head shown here would be if you did have a throttling valve as we're showing here and you crank that valve closed, what would be the head produced by that pump? Dead head, pressure, zero flow, and we're going to say 44 PSI would be that amount. Now of course here we can choose to compare the VFD solution to a throttling control, an on-off control, or a hydraulic control. We've chosen to uh, compare it to a throttling control. Here we have the ability to select our input voltage, which in this case uh, is 460, and it's telling us right here that the required motor power is 7.8 horsepower. So if that's the case, we're going to select a 10 horsepower motor for this application. And the motor efficiency is something we could pull out of the uh, motor manufacturer's catalog, or if it's an existing motor, right off the motor nameplate. This area here is where we describe for an entire year, 8,760 hours, how many of those hours would the pump be producing this amount of flow, this percentage of flow. And we have the ability to come up here and change that, which is reflected in our graph over here. And then the message at the bottom reminds us that if we're going to increase this amount, we have to decrease another amount so that the totals are actually equal to 100 percent. And of course here we can enter uh, the information for the appropriate uh, individuals that we're working with. Here we select a series of uh, ABB pump that we might be working with. Could be an ACS, perhaps a 310, 355, maybe a 550 in this case. Um, it's recommending an ACS 550-U1-015A-4. If we click this button, it actually copies that model number to the clipboard so we can put it into uh, an order that's addressed to Technicon. Here we have, of course, the saving percentages. We're saving 54%, and this is calculating the annual, annual energy consumption. and. Uh, we can see with the improved control method we've got considerable reduction there and the annual energy saving. Now here we've put in US dollars also that the energy is costing about seven cents per kilowatt hour. Now this is where you would put in the cost of the variable frequency drive approach as opposed to say a throttling valve. In other words you're putting in the difference here. So let's say that I'm going to put in $750 is the difference. And the interest rate I'm using to compare is, let's put in 5%. So now, over here, the economic results is telling me that my annual savings would be $1,519. And since I'm, I've only uh, paid $750, additional for the variable frequency drive, my payback period is actually one half of a year. So 
and as long as this value is positive it's it's a good investment now I can come over here save my calculation I can print it of course close the program so you can download this program from our Technicon IEC.com website under technical and engineering data tab on the left hand side of our website and we uh, thank you for watching the video and hope you will come back for our next video.